start saving up. I am super, super pumped. It's not my fault though. It is. <laughs> Eight, six foot police officers who walked in. Dad. Session starts at 105, it's 102. I've just realized how unfit I am. But something really, really embarrassing happened. I'm not sure whether I can share this information. It was so, so bad. It was <laughs> the roof. The jelly tot hit the roof. Hey guys, it's one of your two city medics here, Ram Glee. For those of you who are new to the channel, this channel is about me and my friend Hannah. We are both final year medical students studying in London and this is about our journey through our final year at med school. Hey guys, so today I'm going to be doing my first ever a and shift. I am super, super pumped. I'm super excited. Um, kind of nervous a bit as well, but super, super excited. To have our breakfast now. As you know, I love eating porridge and my friend is about to have some honey nut cornflakes. Can I just add, the best way to start your day is with a bowl of porridge, undoubtedly, and this. This remix is so good. None of these will fit me. None of these. Which ones are small? These are the small trousers. These are the small tops. You know scrubs are not designed for women. Oh, these are small, yeah. So I got the opportunity to take a lot of bloods and do an ECG, which was great. Hi guys. So I just reached the end of my shift and I just wanted to share with you some really key interesting moments that um, I experienced during this shift. So there was this patient I have to describe, I have to set the scene. So I was taking bloods and then I turn around and there were like eight six foot police officers who walked in with like massive uniforms and they were just massive and they were just taking up the entire space. And they basically came in with a patient who was experiencing some symptoms of drug overuse um, so we took their bloods, we analysed their urine and indeed they had taken drugs but they were very adamant that they hadn't. Um, and there was quite a lot that happened. I'm not sure whether I can share this information. Um, yeah, I couldn't share that but I did go to the library after that and got a few books. Hey guys, so we've just got back from our A&E shift and kindly we went to sign the register at Pardon & Hall and they had free crisps. Free, what's the other thing that we got? We got um, cheese salad sandwich and um, some orange juice. So thank you very much to everyone at Pardon and Hall for that. Halima, we got, we got we got sandwiches, but she still wants the bread that I purchased from Sainsbury's. Thanks, babe. Love you. It's gonna taste banging, banging with hummus. I was then forced to watch some horror movie, no, Horror story thing. I still don't know what it is. Orange ones. The orange, the orange ones are the best ones. Then these purple ones. The green ones are nasty. Is that an orange one? Orange ones are good. I prefer the red. The yellow ones are nice as well. Yellow and um... Wait, I have to crop this out. I'm good. Hi guys, so I'm currently at Liverpool Street Station and I literally have 15 minutes to reach the Whitechapel campus. Today I have my ILS training. So I've been travelling from Harlow to Whitechapel and it's taken me around two hours because of the tube strikes and I'm really, really stressed because if I don't reach on time, they don't let you in. They're like really strict and weird about this kind of stuff. So let's just tube arrives. I'm gonna have to run. I'm not gonna reach. I know it, I'm not gonna reach. Despite doubting myself, I quickly ran out of the tube and tried to reach the next platform. 
I then continued to feel sorry for myself on the tube and then ran out of Whitechapel station. The session starts at 1.05, it's 1.02. I've just realised how unfit I am. I then nearly broke the door and actually made the session on time. I thoroughly enjoyed the immediate life support session. It was extremely useful. We got to look at a number of clinical emergencies, learnt how to perform CPR, and also looked at assessing patients correctly um, using the A to E assessment method. I wished we had more of these sessions before our actual final year because it was very, very useful. So when you press this, right, it puts the gel on your hands. Pretty cool. Yeah. Guys, so I had my first day in intensive care unit, ICU, and it was really, really productive and it was really good. Um, I took bloods, I took a blood culture, and I also did an ECG on a patient, and the staff here are so lovely, like they're super, super nice, so I feel like this is going to be a really nice week. And my clinical partner is also my flatmate, so it's, it's looking good. Sounds really, really nice, but something really, really embarrassing happened. So the doctor was like, apply the tourniquet and palpate for the vein, right? So I'm there feeling the vein in the hand and I'm like, yeah, this is a good spongy vein. And he's like, tell me where the vein is. And I'm like, yeah, and he's like, that's a tendon. And I'm like, it's spongy, I thought it was a vein. And he's like, that's the tendon of the hand, find the vein. And I was literally like dying inside internally. It was so, so embarrassing. Thank God he didn't judge me. Maybe he did judge me and he must have judged me, but he was really nice about the whole awkward situation of me thinking the hand tendon was a vein. And so some idiot thought in the logbook there was a sign off for the ICU section. ATM wore drowned, halfway through I realized there isn't. <sighs> it's not my fault though. It is. <laughs> it's not. It was so, so bad. It was so bad. At least we made it out. <laughs> Dude, there was no way of getting out of that. Then one of the, what is he? It's some <laughs> CT, he's a CT. Yeah, he's yeah, like, CT. I'm gonna deliver um, SJT teaching for the medical students. And that was the only way we got out of it. So today I'm super, super excited because we have started planning for our elective. Um, which we're going to be doing in around six months time now. I've just filled in this form and uh, I just can't wait to start traveling to these places and I hope, I hope, I hope nothing happens with COVID. Like I don't want things to get worse because I don't want our travel plans to get ruined. Um, but stay tuned. Um, subscribe to the channel and look forward to sharing the amazing places that we're going to be going soon.